Welcome back everyone. I hope you guys are doing good. Have you had a good week? Actually, it's probably been about two weeks since you've seen me last. I'm doing pretty good. I'm actually feeling inspired today. I'm inspired to really do something about myself. I know I talk about goals a lot, and I'm probably going to have several small goals, but right now I want to talk about what is probably the most important goal right now to my health, for me anyway, and that is for me to get off my heartburn medicine. I have acid reflux, and I have been on heartburn medicine for several years. I know it's not good for me and I really hate being dependent upon a drug. I'd really like to get off of it so right now that's going to be my focus and my goal is to be off of it by the end of this year. I don't know if that's a lofty goal or not. I've been doing a lot of research on it and it looks like some people can't get off of it but hopefully I'll be able to get off of it. I'm going to do everything I can to move forward. I know I may seem tired a little bit right now because it's kind of late at night. Plus, you know, we just lost an hour of sleep from this moving forward of our clocks thing. The kind of heartburn medicine I'm on is a PPI or a proton pump inhibitor. And it's apparently a bad one to be on. In order to get off of it, you have to gradually step down the dosage over a few weeks, I believe. But before I can even do that, I have to have my body healthy enough that I don't need it in the first place. So I'm coming up with a strategy to make myself to a point to where I don't need it. I definitely need to work on my gut health. I need to work on my fat. That's one of the biggest things. I need to work on my diet. And there's several other things that I've been looking into that I need to work on. For starters, I'm going to have to stop putting bad things in my body and start putting good things in. I know I'm definitely dehydrated. I can feel many symptoms. I've felt them before and I've been getting leg cramps and things like that and that usually means that I'm not getting enough water so I'm gonna to have to start drinking a lot more water I'm gonna to have to try and eliminate as much sugar as I can there's several exercises I've looked into that are supposed to be good for this sort of stuff one thing I'll definitely need more than anything else is support from you guys I need you guys cheering me on and giving me advice and helping me along this every step of the way you know this is a good time to be a follower of this vlog because once I'm healthy and in good shape you can be like I was following Chris when he was fat and now look at him as you can see this is another bearded episode but that'll probably be gone by the next time we see each other I know this episodes a lot more about Chris than it is about t-shirts and that's gonna happen there's gonna be some episodes that are more about me and some episodes that are more about t-shirts we'll just see what you guys like and adjust as we go along I do have to tell you that this weekend I did something that wasn't very healthy before I got completely inspired. I went to an ice cream shop in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. I know I'm going to probably butcher the name of it, but you can read it for yourself in the video. But let me show you what happened when I went to a place called Curl de la Creme. You guys are busy, huh? Busy, huh? Yeah, it's my first time in here. Thank you so much. It looks delicious.
There's what Mindy's looks like. And there's what mine looks like. It's a lot heavier than I thought it would be, just for little curls of ice cream. We'll see how delicious it tastes. Mine empty. Mindy's is half full. It was actually very delicious. And I was surprised. I thought since it was tiny little curls of ice cream that it would be like airy and nothing. But it was actually a lot of ice cream. I really did enjoy it though. And my wife enjoyed hers as well. Another fun thing we did this weekend was go back to the open cord. And it was actually to see another tribute band. This one was in tribute of Prince. Let me show you a little bit of how that went. I know it seems like we go to tribute bands a lot and we like them a lot there's a lot of benefits to them for one thing they play in the smaller venues and it's a lot more intimate and you can really see them and hear them well it's a lot cheaper for one thing sometimes when a star gets older they either aren't as good or quit performing I know there's a few that you can't really duplicate like if there was a Chris about t-shirts tribute vlog it wouldn't be the same because there's only one original. I think it's time to wrap this video up. I appreciate you guys coming along with me to visit a fun ice cream shop and go to a concert, but I really appreciate you guys coming along with me on this health journey. I hope that you can see how passionate and focused I am on my major goal for this year. That is my number one health goal is to get off my heartburn medicine. I know I have to do it and I'm going to accomplish it before the end of the year. What I need is help from you guys. I need you to give me some comments. I need you to give me some inspiration and give me some ideas. Right now I'm looking for a good food journal app that I can use on my iPhone. Do you guys know of any? Do you have any requests for future vlogs that you'd like to see? I know I've got a few people that I want to interview on this vlog and come along for the fun. I know you'd like to see some people besides my face again. For everyone still watching this video, I really appreciate and love you guys. Like I said, now is definitely the time to subscribe and start following along because this is only going to get better each week. I really do need some comments and some suggestions. I want to interact with you. I want some advice because I don't know how you guys like this style of vlog I do. I'm trying to make it a little more exciting and I have some ideas for the future. I appreciate any advice and I will try to respond to every comment. Thank you guys and I will see you next t-shirt.